Long story short, especially a lot of people that are looking to, to get their first rental or, and they're too young, don't have enough credit history. This is a perfect way to uh, finesse your way into them situations by boosting your credit. And um, I remember, I, uh, I remember, hold on, credit cards. Let me not get all topic. My bad. <laughs> this, it's hard. When you by yourself, man, it's a little difficult because normally I got something to bounce off of me. You know what I'm saying? We can go back and forth. If I get lost and off track, he can and he can always like rattle along to what else uh what else we talking about. But um yeah. Um speaking on boosting your credit and using that to get the loans, to get into these apartments, get into houses, uh you definitely uh oh so another thing is too though when you do boost your credit it only lasts uh, they tell you how long it's gonna last normally they'll give you like a month two or three months you pay for what you get though you know what i'm saying depending on how much longer you need the the, the boost for you you pay for that so um and it's actually dope because when you think about it man these rich motherfuckers are literally just g giving out credit cards to the, these companies that are like third party teams i mean the third party companies that are selling their credit essentially these millionaires are so rich that they're making money from just being allowed to borrow money, if that makes any sense. They have a million dollar credit line and they're allowed to put 10 people on it. These 10 people are paying 1100 a piece. Like for me, I'd be one of those 10 people when I had purchased the, the, the boost. And think about it, they can sell it for 1000 a piece, 10 people.